now what I'll do is uh, always starting with my my knot as my reference point, and I take this this line and and then I'm going to I take the slack out of this by going from strap just like I I'm going from the left strap to the right strap to the left strap to the right strap to the left strap to the right strap. And I go all the way around this drum to take the slack out of this drum head. So then I'll, on the second go round, I'll start with, and I'll, I'll start to take the tension or increase the tension, take the slack out of the drum head, but pulling down at each hole. I don't know if you can see that. about the same pressure on each each facet now the old way to make a drum was to <coughs> take all the elasticity out of it by getting three or four men and pulling that thing until all the give and letting it dry and then re-wetting it pulling it again so that you didn't have any of this looseness that's uh, so then we'll go through this process again now that we've created this slack we take it out just by going around the wheel again so this is the hardest thing to describe in words is how how much tension <laughs> do you have on your drum and I say well it's like a trampoline you know you bounce on that trampoline it's taut it kind of springs back so you want it you want it tight because here in the northwest we have a lot of rain but it, even worse than rain is humidity like a lot of the places down in, in the coast and the drum just drinks water and uh, so the water uh, creates a, a, uh, an expansion of the hive so we, we make these drums tight because you can always bring a drum down, this voice down with water. Just by spraying it, spraying the drum head, it'll relax it. And uh, on the other side, if the drum is flat, you can take heat. You can take, uh, in, the, in the sweat lodge, we take the drum and put it next to the fire and it tightens the drum, drum head. So now I've, I've, my knot is, is here. So I'm going to take this excess lacing, kind of clump it up like that. Maybe give it a little water. Then I'm going to go down this knot line all the way down to the opposite side. And I'm going to drop it in this little, this little opening right here. And then I'm going to come over to the opposite, which would be this one, right? And I'll flip it around and the magic happens. And I'll pull things to center, see? Coming back to center. And then from that center, doesn't have to be perfect. It's, it's center, somewhere around center. And then my little thing is to, there's on the, lacing and on the uh, I didn't say this in the beginning but there's a rough side and a smooth side to a to a hide the rough side is where the flesh is the smooth side is where the hair is so I put the hair side on the outside the face of the drum and the flesh side on the inside so I take the flesh side now remember the place I started uh, was this hole and I'm going to wrap these four quadrants here first which is just to the right of that knot I'm going to take these four reminding us that the four directions have four directions within them so it's one of the many teachings 
So we keep that centered, and then we, I've got the, well, I guess it turned around now and became the smooth side, but that's okay. So what I do is I go out, just like in an arbor. You go out that direction, and I'm just keeping this, this lacing overlapped, but not not and I mean abutted just to where they're they're not lacing across each other and I go out about a, uh, an inch to maybe an inch and a half that's plenty right there that's probably more than I need and then what I do is I take this this lacing and I go down through the center of those four and then I'll come back like that little infinity sign there since now my rough side is down and my smooth side's up, so it doesn't make really much that much difference. This is just my little thing about wanting the smooth side up. So I take the time to turn it to where the smooth side's up. And then I come back to the center. And then when you're at the center, you'll, I could go, if I'm walking around the directions, I could go out this path, which I can do. Go out this way, and then wrap these four, these four handles. Interesting. I don't usually go out this route, but try it. Okay, and then we go back to center. With this one. Three. Notice there's about seven ties. Four. Five. And we'll come to our third. Our third handle going out this direction. You know what I should do before I get too carried away here. Because what I almost did was forgot to let my mind wander. And remember this little tail that we made in the very beginning. We take this loose by pulling that. Mm -hmm. And then we take this tail and I bring it under the handle like this and pull it tight. And I can wrap it around these four like this. This is that end of that tail. And I take my my cord, my big cord, and I'm going to wrap it right over that that lacing. Go out same distance. See, we can cut that, no problem. Okay. Go back. Okay, and then do our last candle. That's one of the advantages of keeping your your lacings really moist because they don't if they get too uh, dry 
they'll start getting stuck and getting sticky. So we go out our last direction, completing that circle. There's so many things that this journey around the wheel reminds me of in my, my life. Of. And we first have to complete ourselves walking around that wheel by ourselves. Nobody can do it for us. And, and then walking around with other people, like uh, seeing each other as whole and complete. So when we get close to the end, these last two little loops, little twists that I do, there's a little thing that I do to finish the drum off. Before I do that, I think what I'll do is a little improvisation here. Make that little loop there and then come back to Well, let's see here. We'll take this little tip here and, and wrap it right through those two little last loops. And then if I pull, that'll pull everything into the handle. 